Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm your host Marcos and this time we're turning a cheap Chinese microphone into a half decent Chinese microphone. Let's start. The microphone I'm talking about is trying to be a copy of a more or less expensive western microphone. I cannot compare it to the microphone that's trying to copy but in itself it's quite decent for its price tag of about 24 US dollars. It's a cardioid or maybe even subacardioid like the original one. So the first thing we do is to screw off the top of the microphone. Then we very carefully pull out the microphone capsule. The first time this is going to be a bit hard because it is glued in with some yeah, elastic uh, stuff. Be very careful not to rip off any of these two very very thin wires. And as you can see these wires have very thin and fragile uh, solder joints. Next we're using a screwdriver and turn the single screw on the bottom to the right side. We need to screw it in, not out. Push out the lower part of the XLR connector. And as we see here, the solder joints aren't any better. So what we're going to do first is to replace these two extremely thin wires with thicker ones and stronger solder joints. So we measure the length of the wire required. Take a few millimeters more. Cut off the appropriate length. Strip the wires using some cutter. Unisolate the ends, not too much. The other end too. Now tin the ends of your new wire. You may want to use a third hand, contrary to what I did. Then remove one of the original ones, because they are the same color. We want to do one wire first and the other later so we don't confuse them. Heat up the solder joints, pull the wire until it comes off. Maybe try two or three times until it really goes off. Now solder on our new wire. Make sure it is securely connected and cannot rustle because any kind of scraping of wire or insulation on the microphone capsule will be picked up. So there's the lower part. Yeah. This actually works very well. You use uh, plier and anything to clamp the plier with to uh, clamp the parts you are soldering. It's, it's a fairly decent replacement of a third hand if you don't have one at hand. Remove the second wire, tin the connector, You may want to have a hot glue gun ready so you can yeah, apply lots of hot glue around your solder joints so they cannot move at all. Else you may get some rustling sound when moving the microphone because the thin wires of your cable scrape against their contact point.
connect the second wire of course we tin the wire first makes soldering so much easier now we unscrew a few turns of the center connector and place a third wire here the original only had two wires it is supposed to have three another part where they try to save a few cent If at the later time you get any humming sound every time you touch uh, the body of the microphone or the metal or the metal body of the, uh, XLR connector, you might want to try connecting pin one of the XLR connector to the body of your microphone. This is best done by connecting it to the one screw to the one bolt we pushed in to remove the XLR connector. It is some kind of grounding issue. It's not related to the microphone, but this is a very simple fix for it. Make sure your cable is long enough, but not too long or it will rustle when the, when the insulated cable moves against the inside of your microphone. Now we test the capsule by connecting it to some recorder. Use headphones, of course. Set it to record with monitor audio. Connect the XLR plug. Be make sure not to touch more than one wire at once. And test if the microphone is actually working and is not producing any electrical or scraping sounds when you move the wires or the microphone capsule. The solder joints should be thick and very stable, not brittle at all. As I said earlier, you may apply hot glue at this step, but maybe leave the center pin of the XLR connector open in case you need to do this wiring of pin 1. Use the screwdriver to push in the lower part. Now slowly turn it until the bolt you screwed in at the beginning appears below its hole and screw it out by turning it counterclockwise. Push in the capsule again. There should still be enough of the sticky stuff. And we attach the top. Voila, no electrical noises anymore. Last test. And check if you get any kind of noises when shaking the microphone or pulling the cord, anything that might disturb the wires inside. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe here and watch my blog here. Have fun!